A good Tuesday morning, Quad Cities meteorologist Kevin Phelps here. We have some scattered showers and storms off to our north and west, but at least within the Quad Cities, uh, we're likely going to stay dry for a lot of today. Now, you notice on the risk tracker, we do have that threat for some strong storms between 8 and 2 a.m. tonight. Biggest threat really is going to come from flooding, and then I do think a line of storm marches through the area, meaning high winds would be the primary threat. But as you go throughout the rest of this morning, fantastic weather. We're talking highs in the 70s and 80s, those south winds, but you can notice that front looming just off to our west. In fact, uh, sitting uh, really across western Iowa right now, and it's slowly going to march towards the area later today. So again, by 2 and 3, look for highs in the 80s. Should feel pretty comfortable. And then as we get into that evening time frame, uh, that's when those showers and storms approach the area. Um, our in-house model, a little bit slow to bring them through, but I think that happens, and a lot of the rain wraps up here on Wednesday. So another 1 to 2 inches of rain is likely from tonight into Wednesday. River flooding occurring everywhere. Not only do we have that major cool down by Friday, but this is something that's going to linger all the way into next week. I mean, we're talking highs only in the 40s and 50s this weekend. Another system arrives next week could bring us down to the 40s by next Monday.